Oh, 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 oh no! It's in there! <laughs> what happened, Stefan? Trash control. <laughs> the man blames the traction control. Mm, I don't know about that. For all those that are keeping score, that was a Ford pulling a Dodge out of the mud hole this time, so... Don't get a Dodge. <laughs> I guess that's what that means. So on my way up to Seike, I'm gonna try and catch up with Tim, Daniel, and Stefan. It would be the spring of 2022, and we're here to set up the air quality equipment again. Oh. It's just such a long drive, sometimes you gotta get out and have a quick stretch. So there's our little home for the night. This is the multiplex. Saturday morning, we're back at it for 2022. We got Daniel and Tim. We got Sweet Argo. It's our wheels. And we're gonna go catch up with Stefan and Dylan. And then we're gonna go head down to uh, Middle Creek North and begin setting up the first site. Morning, boys. Love the How truck. you doing? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next, Tim? We're gonna grab some equipment, do a tailboard meeting, and we'll be on our way. Stefan, what are you gonna do today? Uh, do my best to make less work for Tim. <laughs> what a guy. So some of the hazards today will be driving on these roads, wildlife, possibly wildlife. You guys ready to set up some air quality equipment? Ready, bro. So last year, when we did this video, we talked about difficulties in setting up, the challenges in getting down to the beach, but this year, we wanted to take a different approach because we realized we didn't actually even talk about where the dust storms come from or what drive them. So this year, we brought down the Yardworks Wind Tunnel Aero 4 Sand Windstorm Generator of Science. That seems like it might be trademarked. Let's just call it a leaf blower. We're gonna go blow around some sand and talk about exactly how the dust storms form on these beaches. across the surface creates what we call a shear force. It's a shearing force between the wind and the surface. If the surface is solid, nothing will move. If the surface is at all mobile, like water, then it will move in response to the wind. In the case of sand grains, they move in three modes, reptation, saltation, and suspension. Reptation is what you see here. The grains are creeping along the surface. Saltation is what you see here. The grains are flying near the surface. When the ballistic impacts from reptation and saltation hit the surface, they will excavate the small clay particles. The clay particles are so small that they become airborne and they can travel very long distances. This is the dust that reaches Seike. This is the dust that causes health and other issues. When the reservoir is empty, the water's elevation is 655 meters above sea level. When the reservoir is full, it's 672. These storms last hours and days and always occur when the water level in the reservoir is low. On a small scale, this might not be a problem. This is a huge scale. There are more than 10,000 hectares of exposed beach in this area. We believe that 6,000 hectares of that are dust producing. It presents health issues and nuisance for Seike citizens that live here at this time of year. 
It's such a hard problem to solve. It isn't for lack of will. It's due to complexity and competing interests. The bottom line is that a sustainable and agreeable solution remains elusive. We are currently working on a future video where we will share some of the data modeling and analysis that shows the real scale of the problem. For now, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video.